In this video we're going to start repairing the photo and we're going to do so by making a selection of the subject's head. I'll hit W on the keyboard and once I've done that I'm going to select select subject at the top of the option window. I could have used the object selection tool as well. Each photo will have its own characteristics and you'll have to determine which tool will work the best to edit. Now I've got a bit of the content on the left uh, but it needs some refinement. So I could have clicked on my quick mask icon and I could take the opportunity to zoom in and with my brush set at a hardness of 100% I could go in and retrieve maybe parts of his ear that were missing. And if I was to put the white on top, I can now eliminate what I don't want. So I'll go in and I'll edit around right by his jaw and down along his neckline and I'll remove the white collar. and I'll return to my selection. Now we don't need the right hand side to be selected, just the left has to be repaired. I'll hit M on the keyboard and I'll use the rectangle marquee tool. If I were to hold the option and marquee select my selection from the upper right down to the lower left very close to the guide. I'll leave a little bit over the actual skin tone of the photo. Now the left hand side of my photo is selected. Now we're going to be using blend modes so that we can add the color we want to the skin tone on the left and I want to use a new layer to do so. So I'll go down to the bottom of the layer window and I'll click on the new layer icon and I'll name it Face Tint. And in the tutorial file provided you'll see that the RGB equivalent needed for that has been added to the left hand corner of the document. So I'll click on the color picker and I'll make red 168 and green is 112 and blue is 82. And I'll either hit G on the keyboard to use my paint bucket and fill it in or I'll hold down the option or Alt key depending on your platform and the delete key and I'll fill it with that tone. Now that I have the skin tone I want, I'm going to choose a blend mode. Each photo would have a different blend mode. Perhaps it really is contingent upon the photo you're using, but in this instance, I'm going to change it from normal to soft light. Now there's a pronounced orange line because we added a little extra to that side. And the purpose of that is so that we can put a layer mask on it now. And if I use my brush and set the hardness to 50% and the size to about 60, I can now eliminate that extra red that I'm seeing on that layer. Now if I wanted to, once I got started, I could let go of my brush, hold the shift, and locate the brush where I want that to be hidden at the bottom of the document. And now we've got both sides pretty close to blended. If you didn't get it the first time, you have a layer mask, you can put the white on top, and then you can go in and you can retrieve perhaps where you need to by just working back and forth.